Hello guys and welcome on how to create an advanced custom chat overlay in your live streams using OBS Studio. By the end of the video, you will know how to transform this into this. So let's jump right into it. What was the actual premise for making this video? Uh, basically, I wanted a different looking chat for my gameplay scene other than my intermission scene. I found a way to do it, but uh, yeah, it requires a bit of coding skills. But don't worry, I will leave the end result uh, in the comments down below and show you how you can customize it even further. So if you like this kind of content, please leave a like or a comment, uh, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. So you can be up to date um, as I will be releasing new stuff in the near future. So yeah, uh, let's start coding. The first thing we need to do uh, is to go into our Streamlabs account and go on the All Widgets section and enter the chat box. Okay, so here um, we will use this chat box from Streamlabs and incorporate it into our OBS Studio uh, via a browser um, URL. Okay, um, here we can see some of the basic settings that we have. So for a default chat, I like to use the chunky theme because it has this nice thick text. Um, yeah, we have other layouts like the boxed one. This is the classic Twitch. Some old school chat, which has this like coding font or whatnot. Yeah, and this clean looking one. Okay. So for now, I'm just going to leave these settings alone. Uh, of course, we have different uh, kind of areas in which we can customize our text. We can change the background color. We can change the text color. We can play around with the font sizes. Uh, we can uh, see if we want to always show the messages or if the messages can disappear after a certain amount of delay. So um, how did I f actually find out that we can actually code um, the chat ourselves? I actually click this button with the enable custom CSS um, and HTML and we can see here some, I don't know, maybe it's some gibberish code from some of you. This is an HTML area, this is a CSS area and a JavaScript area. Basically, um, if we would like to describe these three areas, we could say that this is the actual skeleton of our chat, you know, the basic structure. Um, the CSS is the area in which we color our structure and give it, I know, different heights, widths, and stuff like that. And the JavaScript area would be an area when we could use animation and actually create some interactions um, with our chat. Okay, so um, first of all, we will copy this URL widget. And we will go to our OBS. Here is our browser source. Let's just name this chat test. Okay. We will paste the URL over here. And with the width, we can go with 1920 by 1080. Okay. After we added this uh, uh, chat test browser source, uh, we can then switch and go to our Twitch channel. And let's see. Test, test, first, test. Okay. If we switch back, we can see that this is the way it is currently looking. So let me try and show it a little bit better. Okay. So here we can see the actual style of the text. So Nothing fancy, this is just the chunky theme that we have on the Streamlabs page. Okay, so let's see what happens uh, if we add uh, the custom code I was talking about. Um, I will show you a little bit with the screen recorder 
what this code actually is for those of you who might be interested. Okay. So here we have some a random code for some of you guys. I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger so we can see. Okay, so bas basically what's this uh, code going to do? It's going to manipulate some of the HTML elements that we saw on the Streamlabs page regarding that HTML tab. I won't get into the boring details on what each CSS property does and um, how we can do this stuff. I am, however, going to leave a link uh, in the description regarding um, the box shadows and how to create them and also some other useful links and information on how you can also play around with the code and uh, manipulate it even further if you like. So uh, let's see what happens if we're gonna copy this. We will go into our OBS and then we will show the ugly chat test, hit properties and then paste the entire content under the custom CSS section. After that, we hit OK. Um, now that I don't need the screen recorder, I'll just put this uh, background image and move the chat back in its original position. OK, and now if I switch here, let's see, I am a random text, chat one, two, three, four, five, blah, blah. Test, 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 and a bunch of this. Okay, now if I switch back to the other screen, we can see a significant, a significant upgrade to our uh, chat. We can play around, of course, with the size here if we want. Uh, we can also play around uh, in the code if necessary, but I wouldn't recommend going into it if you're not into that kind of stuff or if you don't have knowledge in this area in particular so uh, that would be it if you guys like this video and want to see some other tutorials on how to customize uh, chat in other ways or if you have any ideas and suggestions please leave them down in the comment section below and surely i will get back to you and create maybe a tutorial for your liking or maybe even for your idea so that's it i'm out